Okay, this is the take two on uh, question number three. Now what we've got here is we've got a cost volumes profit question. Now the management at Delta Blue Resorts is considering offer three day special accommodation and breakfast passage uh, to reduce vacancies in the off season. The plan is to sell the packages for $800 each. Well there's a piece of information I need, that's my selling price. Variable expenses of cleaning and meals are estimated to be $150 each for each package. And the fixed cost, which is printing, brochures, advertising, promotions, will be $13,000 each. So how many packages must Delta Blue sell in a course to break even? All right, so the first thing we need to do is to calculate break even. So I'm doing question A. And before I even calculate my break even, I need to work out what my contribution margin is. And my contribution margin equals my selling price minus my variable costs. I'm going to put an S there. So that equals my um, selling price was 108, uh, 800. So I've got 800 minus my 150. And that gives me 700, 650. Now I can work out from there I can break my break even equals my fixed cost divided by my contribution margin. So this equals my 13,000 divided by 650 equals 90, um, 20 packages. So I've got 20 packages. That's my break even now. So that's question A done. Now question B asks what is uh, if Delta Blue wants to achieve its target profit of 50,000 for the season how many packages must it sell? So my package is 50,000 a season. Now we've already worked out that 20 packages is break even. So um, target profit equals my fixed cost plus my profit over my contribution margin. So in this case it's my fixed cost which are 13,000 plus my profit of 50,000 divided by 650 and this equals 97 packages. And that takes care of B. Now what is the margin of safety in units and number of packages at this level and how do you interpret this? Okay, so C. My margin of safety equals my um, sales minus my break even sales in units. So this equals 97 minus 20 equals 77 packages. Seventy-seven packages. Now how do I interpret this? Uh, every package sold over 20 packages makes profit. Or you could say, so it's not both of these answers, it's either one or other, sales could drop by 77 packages before the business incurs a loss. So that's what we're looking at there. Now D is the next bit we're looking at. D, 
An alternative plan for Delta Blue Resorts is to restructure their costs by paying an agent a commission of 25% of revenues, which would, be, which would save 8,000 in promotional costs. Now, we saw from earlier on that my promotional costs are part of my fixed costs. So that's a fixed cost. This is a variable cost. So under the alternative plan, how many packages would need to be sold in a season to provide a profit of 50,000? So we're looking to find out what's the difference between our selling and our normal. Okay. So what I'm looking to do here is uh, work out my new break even. So, well not my new break even, but my new contribution margin. So my contribution margin in this case is still my selling price minus my variable costs. Now we've got an additional new variable cost. So we've got a new variable cost here which is this 25%. Now I'm selling for $900, now we're saying it's 25% of revenues. So my variable cost equals 25% times 900. So that becomes a new variable cost plus the original variable costs of the 150. So we've got a new selling price. My new selling price is 900 minus my variable costs. First one being 900 times 25% minus the original variable costs of 150 equals I'm going to have to do this calculation in my head now it's going to be 525 900 250 900 uh, 525 so my target profit is still my fixed cost plus profit divided by my contribution margin which equals uh, my fixed costs are now changed. What are my fixed costs changed by? We would save 8,000 so my fixed costs have gone from 13,000 less 8,000 and now 5,000. So fixed cost is um, 5,000 plus my profit of 50,000 divided by 525 and this equals 105 packages so I've got 105 packages now the last question is do you think management has shopped this new plan explain why or why not well we did have 97 packages for a profit of 50,000 and the new cost structure is 105 packages for 50,000 so I'm going to suggest no because we need to sell more packages that's a sell for the same profit Alright, so it's pretty simple. If you were a salesman and I said to you, look, I'll give you $50,000 if you sell 97 packages, or I'll give you $50,000 if you sell 105 packages, which one would you choose? Well, I'd always choose the less work, more profits, so 97 packages.